There's never been more choice for compact SUVs, and the latest to arrive down under are these two. The MG ZST is the best small SUV yet from China. Let's see how it stacks up against the might of Volkswagen and the all-new T-Cross. While the T-Cross is technically a light SUV and the ZST a small SUV, both vehicles ride on a similar size footprint, drive their front wheels with small three-cylinder turbo petrol engines, come standard with an automatic transmission and weigh in at less than 1300 kilograms. The MG is slightly larger in all directions and has a cheeky exterior design with a recognisable badge. The VW is a touch more conservative and looks a lot like a jacked up Polo, which it effectively is. On the inside, the ZST has more rear legroom, but the TARDIS like T-Cross has similar shoulder, headroom, front and rear, a bigger boot, bigger total cargo space and a full size spare. Annoyingly, both miss out on rear vents. Likewise, both driver seats are comfortable, both cockpits well laid out, and each of these small SUV's interiors are extremely well appointed at this price. With the exception of hard plastic upper door trims, there are soft touch surfaces everywhere, and the MG's cool red stitching and carbon look inlays make for a sportier look than the VW. But sadly, the ZST lacks telescopic steering wheel adjustment. Both cars offer plenty of perky performance from their turbo triples. The MG makes a little bit more power and torque. It's a little noisier as the engine revs rise and its conventional auto isn't quite as sporty as the VW's DSG. Both cars require 95 RON premium unleaded and both use about half a litre more fuel per 100 kilometres than claimed, but the T-Cross is more efficient. Offsetting that somewhat is the MG's longer seven year warranty and its lower servicing costs, even if its service intervals are just 10,000 kilometres. Behind the wheel, and it's a credit to both brands how well each of these compact SUVs ride, handle and perform, whether it's on a winding mountain road or the school run. They sit taller than a traditional hatch, but both cars remain surprisingly flat even during hard cornering. Steering is light with decent feedback and there's genuine ride comfort on all surfaces. And except for some tyre noise and rough roads, both interiors are quiet enough at all speeds. But the VW responds to driver inputs better and is more stable under hard braking. The suspension settles better over big bumps and there's less crash and bang from big potholes. But the difference in dynamics and comfort aren't as big as you might expect. In fact, for many buyers, the choice will come down to the value equation and the bells and whistles. And it's here that the MG really shines. In fact, adding both the safety and tech option packs to the base T-Cross to bring the VW up to a similar spec as the MG cancels out the $3,000 price difference. And the VW still misses out on MG luxury goodies like a 360 degree camera, LED headlights, panoramic sunroof, synthetic leather trim, a six way power adjustable driver's seat, flashy red brake calipers, and gloss black exterior highlights. For the record, the T-Cross achieved a full five-star safety rating in 2019, while the ZST carries over a four-star ZS rating from 2017. As tested, both cars come with plenty of safety gear. Front and rear parking sensors, reversing camera, auto headlights and wipers, and autonomous emergency braking and lane keeping. The MG's only real letdowns are the fact that the MG Pilot safety systems are more intrusive than the VW's. You can keep the silly digital taco, and a lack of volume control on the touch screen is plain and simply annoying. When it comes to the attributes that matter most, there's a touch more polish and refinement promised and delivered by the VW badge, even if you do have to pay for it. All that aside, the MG ZST is a very accomplished small SUV. There's definitely substance to go with its sizzle. It's a solid example of why MG is a brand on the rise and how far Chinese cars have come. But for now at least, the Volkswagen T-Cross is still the pick of these two.